How's it going, folks? It's Brody with Alfonso Investments. I got the Magic 30 belt on my serious shirt on. I'm going to roll up my sleeves for this video. If you're new to Magic or if you've never heard of the Rudy character before, you may be asking yourself, why am I just starting not to like the guy? Now, back in 2016 and 2017, sealed product investing, buying ABU duels, and the occasional reserve list card seemed like a good idea. I even tried to join the Patreon, but unfortunately for me, maybe I'm just a little bit jealous, but living in Canada, I can't get my hands on any of the juicy deals that are available to Patreons because it's just not available for me. Which is the first reason I hate Rudy from Alpha Investments. So, whether it's sealed product, reserve list buyouts, I went on a rescue mission and took it as a call to action when he started making buyout videos. I liked the credit card videos, and the early videos were a little bit fun and more quirky and gave me a little bit of a laugh. But as time went on, they seemed to be getting a little more serious if you know what I mean. Then what happened? Well, Kaladesh, that's what happened. Kaladesh was the time of inventions and the promise of buying out all the Kaladesh inventions made me FOMO into buying all the inventions because Rudy said he was going to, but he didn't. Instead, he went and bought out all the sealed boxes of Kaladesh and didn't leave any else for the rest of us. Now I'm just sitting with this whole lot of Kaladesh inventions and I can't seem to find a box for about six or seven hundred dollars which is the number two reason that and this black lotus are is the number two reason that I hate Rudy from Alpha Investments since the beginning of the reserve list hoarding that goes on over there I took it as a call to action to take to the streets and to the card shops to try and see if I could get any of these reserve list staples for myself. I paid 2,500 bucks for this one, but as time goes on, it's getting harder and harder to get any of that fun into your collection, which is the reason this Black Lotus will never, will never be part of the extension that is the collection of Rudy at Alpha Investments. Now, if you want to know what Rudy's kryptonite is, I'll tell you what it is. Summer magic. And that's the other reason. That's an yet another reason I hate Rudy from Alpha Investments. He won't seem to take on summer magic. Now, is it just the low-lying fruit of the reserve list that makes it easy to hoard cards? Or is it just something that the guy won't touch? If you want to be in fester aggressively into the world of Magic the Gathering, why not take on more niche market products and leave some of those cards like this Mox Jet here for the rest of us? Which is another reason I hate Rudy from Alpha Investments. And this Mox Jet, it will never become part of the extension, which is the collection of Rudy at Alpha Investments. Now, whether it's overfishing the waters of the reserve list, and we all know what happens historically when people overfish, there just ends up being none left for the rest of us, and it brings way to a new species of fish that we're seeing now with the development in game developments of Wizards of the Coast. I can't help but think that people will be asking for reprints or printings of cards Give us a Commander Lotus, a uh, Jeweled Lotus, Gilded Lotus, Brazen Lotus, Mox Lotus, Fantastic Lotus. We're going to get more and more Lotuses or Reserve List copycats as time goes on. Because let's face it, the original copies of these cards aren't getting around in circulation. And it doesn't seem to be that, it doesn't seem to be that people are slowing down. And that plus this copy of Ancestral Recall is another reason I hate Rudy from Alpha Investments. And this Ancestral Recall will never make its way 
into the extension, which is the collection of Rudy at Alpha Investments. All right, now buying too many reserve list cards isn't cool anymore. We know the fellow who bought Moat, and there's many reasons people have copied that sort of a behavior over and over again. But I can't help but think that one would be just a little bit, and excuse me for the giggity here, hypocritical about buying all the reserve lists and then complaining on the other hand why Wizards of the Coast is overprinting or printing too many powerful sets or new variants. And that, and, and combined with this mock sapphire, is another reason I hate Rudy from Alpha Investments and that this mock sapphire, it will never find its way into the extension which is the collection which is rudy at alpha investments it's not going to do it it's not going to make its way there whether it's this mox emerald right here or this whether it's a mox emerald over there or this copy of a time walk that i rescued from a card store out back of a tabernacle that was doing some funky stuff i took these home and put them in my collection and gave them a safe place so they would never fall into the collection which is the extension of rudy at alpha investments So why do we start the channel and why do we have this love-hate relationship with the fella who is Rudy over at Alpha Investments? It seems to be that we need only two more reasons to come up with. It's this Mox Ruby and this Time Twister that I'm talking about. These are two more reasons I hate Rudy from Alpha Investments. Because if I were to try to replace these cards, I'd have a really tough time finding them on the open market because people are holding on to 20 or 30 copies of them and there's only so many of them left. Which gives me all the more reason to hate Rudy from Alpha Investments. So the Bazaar of Baghdad or the Mishra's Workshop, these are some other cards that I've watched get farther and farther out of reach on my mission to rescue at least one copy of every card on the reserve list, and I'm really close to doing it. But every time there's a Feldegriff buyout, and I can't seem to find a hippo around here anywhere, and I'm going to have to pay 15 to 20 bucks for it, which is the main reason I'm so upset, and I hate Rudy from Alpha Investments. Hit the subscribe button. He's also got way more subscribers than I do. If anybody's still watching at the end of the video, leave me a yo bro in the comments section. Thanks again for watching. And we'll talk to you again next time. I I gotta find a I gotta go find a darn hippo. There's gotta be a one around here somewhere. Friggin' Feldegrift. Can't seem to find a bloody Feldegrift. It's not a Feldegrift anywhere around here.